So in this video, we're revealing a step-by-step -step tutorial for Shopify dropshipping, what it is and how complete beginners are earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More than that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62-year-old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days, so check it out now. So I do not say this lightly, but Shopify dropshipping completely changed my life. Here's why. Like, just not so long ago, I was working a job that I did not enjoy, working for somebody else that didn't actually respect me or treat me what I was worth. You know, I felt like I had so much to offer to my boss and I was like, I can do this and I can work so hard. No matter how hard I worked, I would never get the pay raise that I felt like I deserved and I felt like the hard work that I did was kind of like undervalued and went unnoticed. And I was like furious and I, and I thought to myself, I was like, there's no way in hell that I'm gonna do this for the rest of my life. And I saw how my parents lived. You know, my parents like worked nine to five every single day for like their entire life and still they don't have that much money and still they're very, very stressed. I was like, there has to be a way. There literally has to be a way for me to get started. It was just very hard because like I said, I'm not the smartest person in the world when it comes to business. I didn't have that much technological savviness, nor did I know how to build websites and whatnot. But I had this desire and urge to learn, which is enough for most people to go ahead and for example, succeed in anything, right? And the moment I went and did that, I kind of like dove deep in Shopify dropshipping because I found a mentor that like essentially showed me the ropes. And because I had that guidance and someone to follow and I was willing to like really learn and be educated and to drop my ego, literally from nothing and no experience whatsoever, I went from zero to five grand that first month with Shopify dropshipping to 1.6 million that first year. And my entire life changed, man. Like you could actually see, I started traveling around the world, hanging with whale sharks, monkeys, and even like speaking on stage on events around the world on exactly how I was able to go ahead and create life-changing freedom for myself and how other people go ahead and do it as well. But remember, don't let the millions kind of like go ahead and fool you. Don't let the six figures go ahead and fool you. Because for me, all I really cared about is heck, if I can make $100 a day profit, I don't have to work for my boss. If I can make $100 a day profit, I could go up and leave and live in like Thailand or Bali where there's like people, you know, that make a bunch of money that I could learn from. Like for example, this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million that I interview here on my podcast or this guy that makes a million dollars from profit. I could actually go ahead and not depend on one source of income, which is a nine to five job. And I could actually feel safe and secure financially with my friends and my loved ones for the rest of my life, right? $100 a day. And what not a lot of people realize is Shopify dropshipping is one of the fast and easiest way to, to go ahead and get there. Now, how did I do it? Because I actually got into Amazon, or because I actually got into Shopify dropshipping on accident. Uh, my story essentially was, was I accidentally was starting off really with Amazon FBA. And this blessing that came literally was a blessing in disguise when I failed on Amazon FBA like miserably. So essentially what happened on Amazon FBA was I like bought a bunch of products from China and remember you don't have to do this. This is my mistake that you don't have to make. I bought a bunch of girl masks from China, shipped them over to Amazon because I saw that there was a lot of competition here or a lot of reviews. So I was like, heck, if all these reviews and all these girl masks are making money, I could just sell the same thing on the same platform and make money. So I, bunch, I bought a bunch of girl mats, shipped them over to Amazon and even though I got like a good amount of sales, like 10 sales a day or so, not life changing money, but like sales, it was very hard for me to scale because number one, I had to spend my own money on the products and number two, the competitors were, <coughs> the competitors were way, way too advanced. They've been around too long. Um, they, they, they just had more money than me. I didn't have that much money at the time, right? Um, which was my first major flaw and don't make the same, same mistake. Don't sell the same product on the same platform where other people are already making way, 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 way too much money. What I did was I took something that worked really, really well on one platform and then I moved them over to my own website and a different platform and then I started sales. And that's exactly how this ended up happening, right? This wasn't an overnight success. This was a winning product on Amazon that I put onto Shopify and I sold it on a new platform, which at the time, this was 2015, was Facebook, right? And because it was already proven on Amazon, right? But not on Shopify and Facebook, I was able to make a bunch of money, right? Which, which begs the question, this is exactly what happened in the story. I ended up failing on Amazon FBA and I had all of this inventory in bulk. I'm like, man, you know, I, I'm like, oh, I, I, I don't have, like, I, I don't have any more money. I can't buy more products. It's hard. 
every single time I make money, I have to buy more inventory. I don't know if I could go ahead and do this. So just to try to see if I could liquidate my, uh, for example, inventory, so I could at least break even, I was like, okay, let me at least try to figure out if I could sell this on my own website. So that's when I went and created like a Shopify store because a Shopify store is like very, very affordable. And the coolest thing about it is they have all of these like done for you templates. So you could have like a done for you store within the next like 30 minutes. I simply use like the free theme because I didn't want to spend any money. And I just took the pictures that I had on my Amazon store and just threw it up on Shopify. And then I got like the simple, like for example, Facebook ads course, which back in the day, like it was very easy to run like, like advertising. You just throw a picture up and then run ads to it, right? And then what I ended up doing was just see if I can make a sale, right? I literally took the videos that I already made of this product and I just threw it up as an ad. And I was just so surprised when literally I started making sales. Like you could see like within a week or so, I made my first sales and this was literally, like I connected my Shopify product to Amazon, okay? So initially, before I started Shopify dropshipping, I literally was just dropshipping from me as my own supplier because I was just trying to like get my money back, right? So every single time I made a sale, I just shipped it from Amazon, shipped it from Amazon. And when it dipped um, right here, I started realizing that I was gonna run out of inventory from Amazon, which led me to the dropshipping model. I was like, I was freaking out. I was like, man, I'm making all these sales. Um, I'm running out of inventory. I don't have the time to buy products from China and ship them back to the States for the, me to ship it. So I was like, okay, I might as well just buy them directly from China then after I make a sale. So I got like one grill mat for $19.95 I was selling it for, and if they bought two, there would be free shipping, which is the cool thing about your own Shopify store. You could kind of like play around with like the variables. And when I started selling out of all my Amazon stock, I essentially started buying products directly from AliExpress. So whenever I make a sale from my Shopify store, I would immediately buy it from AliExpress and ship it directly to them. Now this was back in 2015 when grill mats weren't as popular on like, for example, AliExpress. So I scaled so hard with this, like you could see it went from nothing in October to like, you could see what some of the highest peaks were nearly 10 grand plus per day, right? Nearly like leading up to Christmas, right? I, 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 I literally like sold so many different things from, for example, the Chinese suppliers. And they were just like inundated with also the demand on like Christmas as well, that they almost had no grill mats. So then again, I had the same problem where I was like, man, I need to find even more products. So then I went to eBay. I was like, there has to be grill mats on eBay. Hopefully, like hopefully there's like grill mats on eBay, right? And I found out that there was actually grill mats on eBay. So again, because I had all this like marketing machine like selling, I started just, you know, buying it from like, for example, like eBay. Now this opened up the best level of eBay dropshipping that you could actually get to. And it again, it happened on accident, right? So as I was selling all of these things, I, I hired these people from the Philippines to go ahead and buy these for me from eBay whenever I make a sale and ship them directly to the customer and update the tracking information on Shopify. I started selling like hundreds of grill mats a day, guys. Like literally hundreds. Where some of these suppliers that are literally in the US, which is good because AliExpress ships from China, so shipping was like two to four weeks. So for example, refunds were like through the roof. But when I started buying things from eBay, they were US suppliers. They got to the customer within two to four days. Customers were a lot happier. The quality was a lot higher. Refunds were a lot lower. Even though it was a little bit more expensive, my profit still went up because of the fact that the customers were always happy, right? So. There got to the point where I was selling hundreds of grill mats a day from some of these suppliers, <coughs> where, where some of these suppliers ended up freaking out and they're like, dude, did you mean to order 100 grill mats from us yesterday? And I'm like, yeah, why? I'm running advertising. And then, you know, they got excited like, because they didn't know, understand advertisement, which is why it's always important to learn a skill that's valuable because no matter what happens, you could sell any product or service. They're like, oh, really? Well, and they're really, really interested. They're like, well, did you know every time you buy from like eBay, eBay charges us a fee, so we have to add a bigger markup on that product. But if you buy from us directly, you actually don't have to, like eBay won't charge us the fee, so we could actually save you more money. And I'm like, really? And like, yeah, we could put you on a net 15 or a net 30. And I was like, what is that? Oh, you don't have to pay us until 15 days in increments of 15 to 30 days previously of what you know products are sold. So I'm like, are you serious? So you're telling me I can sell your products and I don't actually have to buy your products until 15 or 30 days later? And they're like, yeah, it's net 15, net 30. It's typical with like wholesalers and dropshippers and whatnot. And I'm like, I, I had no idea. So now I had more cash flow to then focus on advertising. So, and, oh, and another thing that they said, they're like, oh, by the way, we have this software. It's called ShipStation, where we could connect to your Shopify store so that whenever someone buys from your store, it automatically tells us in our warehouse. So we'll ship things for you and we'll update the tracking. And I'm like, seriously? Oh, and by the way, we have all these other products you can sell that we spend our own money on, on 
on the inventory in China. And that was like, a, that was gold for me because initially I spent my money from China and shipped products to the US with my own cost and it was my own risk. Now you're telling me another supplier will go ahead and take the risk for me for free? And it gets to the point where literally when you build a good relationship with your supplier, I had friends that did this with their eBay suppliers. They were able to private label it and put their own logo and design on them because they just became a very valuable asset to that supplier. Does that make sense? And that's literally how people are literally making a lot of money with Shopify dropshipping this year. Getting into the point where they find proven products that are already existing on other platforms. Like what I did was taking my proven product on Amazon. You could even do the exact same thing. Take proven products on eBay, go to watch count and see which are the proven products in all of like, the, for example, the categories right here. Or even go to AliExpress and see what's working in all these other like, uh, all of these other categories and just sorting everything by orders, right? And seeing what's already working on what platform, right? Throwing it up on a Shopify store, running a skill set like advertising, like Facebook ads, YouTube ads, influencer marketing, and then partnering with a supplier from the US that will essentially do all the hard work for you. That is one of the fast and easiest ways to make $100 a day and then how I scaled literally to 1.5 million that first year. But of course, if you want a faster and easier way to make money online this year that's brand new, where literally people in our community with e-commerce, with a brand new opportunity, was able to go from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks, like Sado Mom Dina at 47 years old, and hundreds of other people were able to go ahead and do it as well. If you wanna know exactly what they did step by step by step, as well as getting a bunch of free bonuses as well, then sign up for this week's free workshop below. Check out this video in this podcast right here. See you guys later. Woo!